Hey Sparks, I don't even know what to call you. I, I haven't seen you say your name through the thing. If I have, I forgot and please don't, uh, you know, get mad because I, I need to go back and find out if you've ever said your name, you know, but I just thought it Sparks <laughs> for right now since I didn't know. I um, seen the video and I think it's a great video and I think this whole thing with um well let me just start by saying that I'm amazed that it's even a conversation to be had you know what I'm saying that either side has to explain you know what I'm saying man saying you know you know you're supposed to be so independent blah 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 you don't need me and women saying Psh, I can do it on my own um I think relationships people women and all that we all adapt you know, to the situation. And I think that for too many years, women have had to adapt. And now, um, people are, you know, men are looking at women like, Psh, there they go, especially black women, there they go with that. I don't need you, this and that and other, and blah, blah, blah. You know, that whole bit, strong black sister, you know, forceful, stern, you know, being jazzy, this and that and other. That's not what it is. It's not necessarily that that is what she wanted to be. That is what she's had to be. I think that this is a result of us not having like the mud deers and things like that that sit down and talk to the, you know, granddaughters or daughters or whatever and explain it to them exactly you know what I'm saying, how you maintain a good marriage, this and that and other, how to even conduct yourself as a woman to even uh, seem comely to a man or whatever as far as, you know, what he might be looking for. Um, when you look now at young ladies, a lot of them, I'm not saying all, you know, the chase is gone. You know, the thing about, you know, where the man pursues the woman or whatever that case may be you know what I'm saying it's just kinda like all laid out on the table and you really don't even have to stay and have conversation after you have you know broke bread at the table you can just kinda get up and go you know what I mean um, <clears throat> and I don't think um, I just think a lot of that you know I'm showing you how to be uh, young women you know what I'm saying a lot of the older women that should have shared the knowledge of whatever and may have even tried to share the knowledge of you know uh being a woman being a wife you know choosing a husband knowing how to be submissive without you know what i'm saying feeling like you done gave your whole life over to a man or whatever feeling okay about that i think there just have not been a discussion about you know what i'm saying how to do that and not feel like you're giving up your independence and this type of thing. Um, I've said a lot of times that being in a marriage is kind of like the tango. You know what I'm saying? You go back, he goes forward. You go forward, you know what I'm saying? He goes back and you work together and it's like that and it's not necessarily about being dependent are independent. It's about being in sync and going to, you know what I'm saying, going together and this type of thing, you know. And um, as far as like 40% of the black women not being married and, you know, probably will never be married, that's pretty sad. I mean, you know, because that is the foundation, you know. Um, you know, it's sad that, you know, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm going to keep it all the way real and keep it 100. I never imagined in a million years that I would be married. Seriously. You know, nothing to do with my size, looks, or anything like that. It's just I never imagined that I would be married. But I am. And I'm happy in that, although we do have disagreements or whatever, I think, Second to my children, that is one of the best things I ever done in my life. You know what I'm saying? I like having a husband. I like depending on him when I want to depend on him. And I like the fact that he can, you know what I'm saying, depend on me as well.
you know, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. And it's really sad that if it is really sad if 40% of the women, um, black women don't get to experience that, you know, um, it, it, it really is. My mother and dad have always been together. So I'm not like that cliche. I'm, you know, I've seen nothing but you know, my mother and dad be together. They still together now, still do a lot of things together now. You know, raised in a home where you had your mom and your dad. And although my mother was independent, she knew how to do things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She knew how to work it out where, you know, she didn't lose her independence. She was able to be her and do her and still be in that marriage. You know what I'm saying? But then my dad, I think, is one of those special men that never put her in a position where she, you know, had to be, you know, visibly submissive or whatever. It was, you know, like the tango, they work together and still do now. And the more years you together, the more somewhat, I'm going to say this a little bit, the more you become codependent on your spouse and happy to be that way. Still independent, but codependent. Meaning it just would not be the same if they were not together or whatever, you know. So um, that's just kind of my feelings on it. I think this was a wonderful video. I think this is a conversation that needs to be had over and over and over again, more now than ever. Um, I was telling someone, you know, you know, it's a lot of young ladies out there, just for instance, and I speak on the young ladies that don't even know how to cross their legs properly, don't have proper etiquette. You know what I'm saying? Don't, um, it's a whole lot of things. Don't know what it takes. Would you going to say something? Yeah, sure. I'm thinking about my daughter. I don't, I'm going to have to ask somebody to teach that because I don't know nothing about that either. But you should. I do know about it. I just don't do it. Right. So okay. Let's clarify it. that because that's one of, I mean, you know what I'm saying? To say, I mean, well, grandma. I've been big, so I never could cross my legs. Okay. Here we go with the big. It can't cross I your legs. But the point. Right. You know how to sit and close your legs. You know how to conduct, conduct yourself yeah. as a young lady, which, you know, goes back to my mother and her mother, and her mother's mother. You know what I'm saying? This is generational deep, you know. Um, and I just think we need to sit at home and as women and talk to our daughters, you know what I'm saying, and tell them, you know, what we know about being married and what we know about being independent, but also being able to want a man in our life and not feeling like, you know, you didn't gave everything up that she you. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, God, you know, God made us as to be with nurturers. You know, someone said we all have a part, although she went about it the wrong way. But women do have their part that they play. And it is not to be downplayed. You know what I'm saying? A man doesn't know how to accept a woman nurturing him had he have not seen his mother do it. You understand what I'm saying? You know, so... I just think that we just need to start, you know, talking to our children. Men need to start talking to young men and telling them, you know, how to choose the right wife. And women, you know, vice versa, talking to their daughters about husbands, this and that and other. But above all, at the end of the day, I think when we're thinking about getting married and we're thinking about being with someone, first person we need to consult is God. You know, so... That's just me weighing in on it. My sister, I loved your video as always. Much love, and I'm out of here.